So within Lamp Words for Life, um, you may be ready to personalize the system. Um, the one thing I want you to do before you ever add uh, a word into Lamp Words for Life is make sure that it's not already somewhere in the system. The big thing about Lamp is that it only wants to have a word once in the system. So if it already exists, you don't want to add it, you just want to use it where it is. So for example, if you go, there's two ways to go to Word Find. You can either go to the spelling button and click Word Find. So the spelling button is right in the middle, kind of of the page. If you go to the third row, um, you'll see it's in blue right next to two. And so when you go in there, that is one way, or you can go to the menu and you can go to Word Finder. Either way works. So what you want to do is search the word. So for example, bear. So if you were at the zoo and you saw a bear and you couldn't find it in the system, you don't want to necessarily add it. You just want to use the word finder feature and it will guide you to it. Bear. And I totally forgot that my voice is still um, Enrique. So I'm going to move it to Ivy. And so um, you want to make sure that the word is not already existing. Um, so the one thing that I um, checked for before this video is when you go, um, a lot of the things that you do want to personalize is when you go into foods or when you go into toys. Um, so for example, foods, there's a lot of different options. So you do want to make sure to search the item using Word Finder before you add it in there because it most likely exists in here. Um, but one of the big things is going to be under toys. There's a lot of options, um, but obviously there are more specific toys that children might want in here to request or to talk about. Um, and so the one big thing might be a very special teddy bear, which is something that we would call a personal core word. Um, maybe it's um, Teddy, but his name is Barry. Um, and so you want to make sure to have that in there. Um, and so how you would do that is you would add a button. And so the top right hand corner, go to menu. First, you want to make sure in Word Finder that Teddy does not exist. Word not found, okay, you can totally add it. You want to make sure to add it in to the area that makes the most sense. Um, so for example, the toys go into toys. Um, the clothing items would go where all the other clothing items are. So you want to make sure to do that and not create a whole different folder. Um, so if you go up to the right hand corner, top right hand corner to menu, and then you go to edit page, it'll turn red at the top and that's how you know you're in edit mode. And so you click on any of the blank buttons. Um, so I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna create a new button. And so I'm gonna name this um, button Barry since the, the bear has a name. You can also check and see what it sounds Barry. like. And that's how it's gonna sound. Um, and again, it's going to show up as a berry just because um, in this hypothetical situation, it's named with the, as if it's a blueberry because um, he's blue. So what you want to do is you can either select an image or import an image. Most of the time you want to select an image and look in their inventory of images. So when you select, when you click select image, you can do a little search button in the top right hand corner and you can look up Teddy and that will show up different bears. So you can choose um, the option. If that's not the option that you want, um, the only times that I would ever add or import an image is if it's um, really personal to the child. So any specific family members, any specific um, toys that have names. Um, I wouldn't do it for blocks because you wanna make sure that the blocks, um, the line drawing of the block can be any block. Um, but if it's a teddy bear that's really um, important to them, you could totally snap a picture of that teddy. So how you would do that is you'd either take a picture ahead of time um, and have it in your image library or get it sent to you by the family if you're not with the teddy bear or you can snap a picture um, with the system um, when you're ready for that. So if you go to import image, um, you have an option to do camera or image library. And so um, I'm going to go through image library, but camera would just take you to the camera to take a picture. 
And so you would look through here and see, okay, which one is um, Teddy? And so um, I don't have a picture of a teddy bear at this time, but I'm going to pretend that in this situation, um, the child thinks that um, the teddy is Stitch. So I'm going to use this picture. You can zoom in and out by using your two fingers. So I'm going to zoom in, use, I'm going to click done, save. Hmm, so it shows that there's another one. Oh, so as you can see, it wants me to change the word um, just because berry is specific to the food item. So what I'm going to do, so this doesn't get mixed up if you're ever searching for the word, is I'm going to name it with the A, so that way it will not save incorrectly. You might have to import the image again. Zoom in. Click Done. If it lets you save, it means that it's not a duplicate in the system. So now Barry is there. You click done in the top left hand corner. Barry. And Barry is now in the system. And so you can do this with anything. Just remember to um, make sure to use Word Finder and see if the system, the word already exists in the system. Or once you're creating the word, it will let you know if you're creating a duplicate of that word.